Today I have an Apple Watch 2 and I'm going to show you how to activate the action button on the Apple Watch Ultra 2. Now, in order to activate the action button on the Apple Watch Ultra 2, you simply have to bring it to the side and press the button. And you're probably asking yourself, what if you press the side button and this screen with all the workout buttons are not or icons are not showing up well you'll have to go inside of the menu in order to do that I'm gonna press see I press that side it turns it on I have to go into the menu so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the crown see this crown piece right here what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press that and when I press this it brings me to a lot of things and I'll have to scroll down until I see settings do you see this right here I'm going to press settings and when I go to press settings you can scroll down to like a lot of things but you'll want to come to where it says action button okay so once I've selected that it gives a lot of options so uh, currently it's set at the action button as the workout but if I press this I can actually change the action button to a variety of things I can change it to stopwatch I can change it to work waypoint. I can uh, change it to back track for finding my way back after I've tracked. Change it to dive. I can make it a flashlight, shortcut, or I can have it to where the action button doesn't do anything at all. So, with that being said, I'm going to go back to what I want the action button to be. And I want it to be for my workouts. And once I've selected that, I can press backwards, and then it shows you a lot of things. I'm going to go, going to go through them for you. I'm going to press App Workout, so this is what it does right here. It is currently selected on the workout. And then the first press. So when you press this button, this is what it does with the first press. It opens the workout. But if I want to change that, I'll tap that. And if there are some options, it'll have the options laid out right here. But for this particular app, there are no options for the first press other than open the workout. So I'm going to go backwards. And then I'm going to scroll down. And here are the gestures down here. So the gesture is you press the button. And because it's on the workout, the, first, the press wants to open the workout. Once you start a workout, press again to control the workout. Workout actions may change based on the app. And then there's also, uh, with the action button, it gives you the option to turn on the siren. So the siren, if I press and hold down the action button, it will go off if I have this selected as on. So I'm going to turn that on. And it says right here, press and hold the action button to activate siren. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and press and hold the action button. And you see right there, it brings up the siren, gives me the option for backtrack, and the SOS emergency call. Okay, so we have all of those options. I'm going to get out of there. Oh, didn't mean to do the power. Cancel. And... Once I made that selection, it's everything's all set for the action button to do that. But before I go, let me show you what happens if I change it to stopwatch. Let's change it to stopwatch. Get out of that. The gestures right here. Press once to start stopwatch. Press again to mark lap. And if I pressed both buttons, it pauses so if I press this button as well as the action button it will pause and you see the siren does the same thing let me show you for a second so I press this up side action button it comes up I can press it again to do mark my lap mark my lap or I can actually press both sides and it stops the stopwatch okay doesn't like that and press the sign it starts it again now if I want to get out of this press the crown
press the crown again go to settings and we're gonna change it to something different for the action button we're gonna go up here and I'm gonna change it this time to flashlight and then go out it says action button now does the flashlight so if I press it once to turn on the flashlight and then you press it again to turn it off so watch this press it once this is the flashlight it, that white screen that is a flashlight for the Apple Watch Ultra press it again turns it off let's see what else I can do with this so I'm in here uh, let's go action button again it's on the flashlight let's do dive so I've selected dive alright and so the action button dive is for the action button in the app let's see what options I have in here uh, so um, app depth so it shows the depth and gestures it's just simply pressing the action button press that side the other side in dive press once for both this one and that one to perform a secondary action the action may change based on the app so I'm gonna go ahead and I activate this dive it says to record depth submerge Apple watch what happens if I press this and this does it oh doesn't do anything oh I pressed it and what does it do it says press and hold crown to unlock press and hold crown to un to turn off water lock so I'm gonna press this